Hello everyone, in this particular lecture, we are going to learn about that how to get and set input values in JavaScript. So, let's jump in and build a quick demo together, right? So, yeah. so this is the HTML part. As you can see, I'm having an input here and as a placeholder, enter your name, type is text and the ID is name input. And below it, I'm having two different buttons. One is for getting the value and second is for to set value. Right, so as you can see here, the button one is having ID as get button and button two is having ID as set button. And below it, we are having a paragraph whose ID is output. So this is here, we will get and set the values and it will be displayed to you, right? So let's go to the JavaScript and see that how it actually works, right? So let's create the whole functioning of it. So initially where we will write const name input equals to we will use a do, do manipulation so we'll write document dot get element by id bracket inside of this we will write what this name input right so let's write it here like this now similarly we will create it for all the different ids so let's just copy it or let's just copy the whole line right and paste it four different times and let's name this as get button right and this as set button and the last one as output right like this so we are having four different elements right and now let's start building the logic for getting and setting the values. So first we will take this particular button of get, right? So get button dot add event listener bracket inside of this, we will take the event of click, right? So when you click on the button, this particular event get called and inside of this, we will, okay, let me write the arrow button here, right? Now inside of this, we will write that const value we are taking a variable value equals to name input name input is what that input field in which you have entered the text whatever you want right so cost value equals to name input dot value right so whatever value you have entered inside of it so it will read the inputs value right after that we will put what output dot inner text equals to let's take it back it right so you texted inside of this let's take a template literal like this and we will write value right so value is containing what whatever you have entered right and when you click on the get button it will it will do what it will show that particular input text inside the output paragraph right after that let's create the function for the set button also right so, so set button dot add event listener bracket inside of this we will write same the click event comma the arrow function as name input dot value equals to hello world so we are taking a uh, basically we are whenever this set button will call we want that a word or our input which we want as a default to get set it right so we are written here we have written it here that is name input dot value equals to hello world so whenever the user will click on it whatever the thing which was written in the paragraph will get changed into this particular text right so yeah after that output dot inner text equals to input value changed right so when basically when you click on the set button the input field will have the value as hello world and your particular output in our text will say input value change now let's see that how it actually works so let's go to our basically website and you can see it is having an enter your name, get value and set value. So 
if I write Piyush uh, Gupta like this, and when I click on get value, right? So why it's not working? Let me see. So we have done a little mistake. That is, we have not changed the ID of it. So let's change the ID as output like this. Now it will work fine. Let's go to the website again, and you can see. Now let me write the name again here. That is Piyush uh, Gupta. If I click on get value, you can see you texted Piyush Gupta. Now when I click on set value, you can see the word inside the input field has changed to hello world now, and the paragraph is saying input value change. And when you click on get value, you can see automatically it get set it to the hello world, right? So this is how we can do the getting get and set of values with the help of button in HTML and JavaScript. I hope you understood the concept very clearly. If you do, then you make sure that hit the like button and thank you so much for watching. We will meet in the next video very soon. Till then, goodbye.